YouTube, what's going on? I got today a package, unexpected. Never got a message. Um, never had any inclination that this was coming. I have no clue what's in it, but I figured I would open it up on the channel and share it with you guys. Um, it's from, I'll give you his first name. His name is Jordan. So I'll have to shout him out. I, I have no clue what this is. But we're going to take a look here. Got some loose. Looks like uh looks like some loose stuff. Dude. This is one of the perks about having a channel is getting random boxes like this. I've gotten a few and I'm very grateful to everybody that, that sends them. I've been sent some really cool stuff. Um I've sent some boxes out myself to uh, to channels that I enjoy, and I just think it's a lot of fun. So I'm always grateful for this stuff, and this is just so awesome. So let's let's get at it. Uh, I'll start with this one. I have no idea what brand this. Oh my gosh! I didn't know what it was in the wrapper. Holy cow! Dude, it doesn't have wheels on it, but I can easily fix that. Oh my gosh, I've been looking for one of these. They are impossible to find. That is so, this is so sick. You guys have no idea how happy I am about this. Wow, that is so cool. This is my car. This is what I drive. This is the same the same body style. I don't know if it's the same year. The base is completely unmarked. It's very heavy. So I, if it is like a Maisto or a Motormax, it really doesn't feel like it. It's got incredible sculpted detail. And this is, this is my car. This is exactly what I drive. I have a 99 Lexus LX470. And they are, they're out there in die cast form but they are very very hard to find this is killer I love it oh my gosh I'm so happy right now I don't even care what else is in this because this right here makes it so worth it I'm I want to strip this red off and I want to paint it my my color the only thing is this is a right hand drive which is no no problem I want to do this just how mine is with mine is gold we got some 20 inch foose rims on it same exact body style that is so cool so this is this one is actually a land cruiser uh casting but it's the same thing same body style with with a few subtle differences and actually this could go either way because you know that could be a Toyota badge or a Lexus badge. Dude, the scale on it is perfect. I am like so... It's got the third row seat. This is so awesome. Holy cow. Jordan, dude, you just made my day. I've been looking. When these show up on eBay, they are outrageously expensive. Even if they're beat to crap and they don't show up very often. So I am so incredibly stoked about this this just made my day this is the this is the coolest piece that i've picked up in a long time i just want to get it done up just like mine that is so awesome dude thank you so much i have no idea where you got that where you found it but i know that those are not cheap so thank you very very much i hope you're not upset if i strip the red off and and go with uh I'm going to do it up just like mine. Man, I'm happy. 
Okay, so another thing we got here is from Ertl. This thing is cherry. I mean, it's like it just came out of the package, but it's vintage. Um, I don't know. Actually, I don't know. It looks like early 80s. Oh, it's a Bronco. Dude. That's a Ford Bronco. That is so cool, too, man. And this thing is like, literally, like it just came out of the package. It's so mint. There's no flea bites, no wear. All the clear coat is still perfect condition. That is awesome. Dude, this is like... It's crazy, man. This thing here is awesome. I think I had this at one point. It's a pre-pre <clears throat> round two 1984 Bronco. Very nice truck. Blue and white. You can see the uh, racing champs before round two had them. The detail was still good, but it wasn't anything. <clears throat> was nothing like round two. So that's a pretty cool little casting there. I love the civilian deco. Oh man, I'm like, I'm excited about that Toyota. That just, that's incredible to get that in my collection. Man. I feel like I just found like a Datsun 510 wagon super hanging on the pegs. Okay, this one is sick too. So this is an Ertl. And I ha this is the third version of this casting now that I have. I've shown the other two. But this is silver. And I think, you know, I like the other two, but I love silver in 1 to 64 scale. And the fit and finish on this one looks a lot cleaner than the other two that I have. Very, very cool. It's missing a side view mirror, but that's no, no big deal. Actually, wait a minute. I have it right here. It fell off. Let's see if I can get it back in. Yeah, it'll go back in. I just need a... I need a dab of glue to get it to stay. But it's definitely there. That is awesome, man. I love this car. So unexpected. I got, I went today. It's Sunday. I haven't checked my mail in a couple days, and I'm expecting something, which I'll show you in a minute because it showed up today as well. And this box was in there. Uh, this is... I have no idea what brand this one is. No idea. It's almost looks like a Hot Wheels 100%. Let me get my magnifying glass. Hold tight real quick. The base says RVMMLLC 2000 China. Okay, RV. That would be Ravel. So this is a Ravel. And it, it's extremely nice. It looks, yeah, it's a 1970 Monte Carlo from Ravel. With a nice civilian deco. You know, they do really nice work with the lowriders but check out these wheels and tires dude these cars are incredible there's these are all very very hard to find and they're not cheap i mean if i was to go out and buy each one of these individually um this is at least fifty dollars of die cast at least I could sell this thing as it is on eBay and it would probably get $25 to $30 just for this Land Cruiser. Without wheels, that's how crazy hard to find these things are. This is... This Monte Carlo is sick. Look at these wheels. Look at the detail on the vinyl top. You've got the chrome trim. The tail end detail is very, very nice. Almost looks like it has an opening trunk. 
The trunk is definitely a separate piece, but neither the trunk nor the hood open. That is killer, man. Jordan, thank you so much, man. This, this, you have no idea how excited I am about this. This Land Cruiser, man. Oh, the windows are clear. This is so awesome. Ah, oh, man. That is so cool. All right. So, shout out. Huge shout out to Jordan. Jordan R. Um... Man, that was that was killer. Okay, now I'll show you guys a couple other things. Um, I found a few cars today at Walmart. So I got this. And I don't really know why I grabbed it. I think really because I wanted to compare this with the one with the yellow wheels to see why they why they put this out again. Because it looks the same to me, so. Um, but, yeah, anyway, so I got this. I got this one here. I don't know if this is new with M2, but they're doing rubber bands now on the 240. And the rubber band already feels like it's fusing itself to the car. Of course, it has been... 115 degrees here for the last week that might maybe have something to do with it I like this deco I have to say the quality control on on this one and the next one look really good. Uh, some of the best uh, fit and finish I've seen on some M2s in a while. I like that Yokohama badge back window. So that's pretty cool. This one here I was pretty excited about. It's like a little black band at 240. But again, this one also has the rubber band. See on the hood where it's kind of fusing itself there on that center hump. You gotta get these rubber bands off of these cars or they will ruin the car. Yep, left the big old oil mark, so I'll wipe that off. That came right off, but if you leave that on over the course of a couple of years, that's gonna be a massive problem. This thing looks awesome in black. It's murdered out, it's black on black on black. Nice lens headlights and the tail lights. These are probably the nicest tail lights I've seen on one of these. Another problem that these have a lot is that bumper being crooked. It looks pretty straight. So I really like this 240. This is probably my favorite one. Nice roller. I know the camera doesn't show it very well, but but that is a nice looking little Datsun and then I got this old American car because it looked really cool in the package and it does you know this is one thing I think M2 does excel at even though the build quality is questionable at times but this is a 1954 Dodge Royal Royal Cornette it's a nice roller these 1950s cars, M2 probably makes the best ones out there. And that's not so much a compliment to M2 as it is the fact that <clears throat> no one else really does them. Um, I know Johnny Lightning has done some, but as much as I hate to say it, I, I do think the M2 castings are nicer. They're more realistic. Nice opening hood. White wall tires, chrome hubcaps, it's a nice roller, it's a big heavy car. You know, it's funny with uh, with the Auto Japan cars, I've talked to uh, a few people about this, Champion DJK being one of them. 
the metal that they use, these things are so thin that there's like hardly any metal. I bet if you really wanted to, you could crush this just by squeezing it. You could crush the top in. In fact, I may try that on one just to see. But the but these cars, like the 54 Bel Air, the 55 Bel Air, the 57, uh, this one here, some of the old Mercury's, they're very stout. There's a lot of metal. And you can feel it when you pick them up. The skyline, the roof line on the skyline, this part right here, is almost... I mean, it's so thin, it's almost sharp. So, I don't know. I like this car. Something different. I like the real clean civilian look to it. All right, now let's get to my other mail find. <clears throat> this car here is an eBay purchase. It was purchased two weeks ago shipped from I think it shipped from Japan but it was somewhere in one of those Asian markets I don't I don't know which one it is a Kyosho and it is a car I've been wanting I got it in black which I don't usually do but I looked at the other two colors and black was definitely the one that I wanted in this case the uh, Ferrari 412 that I bought was red and so I thought with this one, I would go black. Um, I don't have a lot of these vintage Ferraris from Kyosho, but this is a 248 GTS. And it is a gorgeous little car. Got the dark gray wheels, all the chrome trim, very nice little lensed headlights. Very nice European look to it. The lines on this car are so sexy. There's your silhouette. Yep, that is a gorgeous car. I love it. This might be, might be my favorite Ferrari. Definitely my favorite vintage Ferrari that I have. And then, of course, with Kyosho, you get... Uh, lens tail lights too. My road is uneven here. Let's try this. is very nice looking. I got inspired to buy this from another episode of Jay Leno's Garage. I'm telling you, I got to stop watching that show because I see certain videos and they make me want to go. I, I go online. I'm like, I got to see if I can find one of those. That thing is awesome. And this is one of those cars. That is a beautiful car. Jeez. Well, everyone, that uh, concludes my Sunday video. I am blown away by the generosity of uh, of my viewers, my subscribers, um, the fans that I have out there. I know it sounds corny because all I do is make diecast videos on YouTube, but it really is flattering to go to your mailbox and just get a random box. It's happened multiple times um, in the two years I've been doing this, and I'm just blown away at the, the generosity And I am ecstatic about this Land Cruiser, man. That thing, I, I can't wait to get this thing put together. I can't wait.
some very, very, very nice cars. Ertl, Ravel, Ertl. I don't know on this one. I think Motor Max, but I, but I think it's actually something else. And then just a couple of M2s that got lucky that they got to come home with me. And of course, this beautiful Ferrari. Anyways, everybody, thank you for checking it out. Have a great rest of your weekend. Have a good Monday tomorrow. Don't work too hard. Happy hunting. And I will holler at you all at the next video.